All of my life, I felt like I've been waiting for something. Something missing. Take this observation. Swifts on a fine morning in May, flying this way and that way, sailing around at a great height, perfectly happily. Was it that moment when we met and exchanged those incriminating glances or those words of almost infinite possibility for the first time? Is this conduct commonplace in the natural history of Hampshire? Or was it when she said, I don't love you anymore? I can't lie, I can't tell the truth. So it's over. Doesn't matter. I love you, none of it matters. But it's too late. I don't love you anymore. Is it enough just to wait? Or do we reach forward out of confusion and take it? Don't do this. It's right? done! Now please go before I call security. You're not in a strip club now. There, there is no security. <laughs> well, the scenes in our life pass us by but once. We will fish long ago, before we were apes. You mentioned a hotel. No hurry. Actually, there is. I've got to be in surgery at three. Enough to know your horizons must be widened by an extraordinary young man. I'm sorry, all right? You misunderstand. I didn't mean to, all yes, right? Yes, you I... did! Priority commands me to ignorance. Condemns you to it. And you're writing to the status of female accomplishment. If you wish to practice the art of fiction to be the equal of a masculine author, experience is vital. Do we let ourselves be broken and left disheartened by the times we truly hate? Or do we take them in our stride and let those happy ones fuel us? So why is he pretending to be you? Uh, I think he likes me. He's got a funny way of showing it. Tell him to send flowers next time. In the end, perhaps that moment is when I can meet Death's door with a smile and say, take me. I have nothing more to give. <laughs>